James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 8, 2023, 9.15 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, at about 1 o'clock UTC time tomorrow, which was about 7 p.m. tonight, we started having a really hard hit on our electromagnetic shields. As you can see, these spikes go very close to 6, 7, maybe 800 hertz. Very hard impacts. Usually this means the Schumann resonance is going to go off the hook. And we can confirm that right now. Right about 1 o'clock, we've had it looks like 2 to 3 extremely strong Schumann resonance spikes. They shoot right off the charts at 105 hertz. You can see the geophones hit top. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. We did report earlier today we had an impact on our Tomsk time Russian model. But again, this is 9.20 p.m. at night now. We're seeing heavy impacts on our Italian models, as you can see, plainly. If you felt like you just got hammered, you might have. I uh, said about the last hour to hour and a half off the hook here, six day comparison. There has been a lot of activity during this time over the last three days. We'll see if this continues. Thus far, it is off the hook till real time right now, again, right after 9 20 p.m. This is six days broken up into six hour increments for each day. And so you're looking at six days of data here. This is, i.e., the 9th UTC time, 1 to 2 UTC time, or 1 to 1.30 UTC time. As you can see, all of our indicators say the same thing. Large hit. Looks like it started really at about, uh, well, 0.30 UTC time and is ongoing currently. And it looks like it's past 2 UTC time currently. So this might be running a bit behind, but we're really at two hours, three hours and 20 minutes past midnight or past 0 hundred UTC time. It being again right after 9.20 p.m. Central. Is CERN running? Well, they reached instant luminosity right about 0 hundred UTC time, as you can see right here. And this is two. As you can see, if the spike continues, we're right online. I haven't seen many connections that I could prove that this was the cause of these spikes, but this runs just about over the Italian station and is quite a bit west of the Tomp's Time Russian station. This is our solar weather and plasma for the day. We see absolutely no events today whatsoever. Plasma never exceeded 10 centimeters cubed, which is the space weather alert threshold or space weather threshold. And so the winds, minus this really strange move that only went up to 460, have maintained themselves below 350 the entire day. So solar winds didn't cause this, although space uh, winds may have. As you can see here clearly, the back side or opposite sun side is building a lot of pressure all day long. No bow shock whatsoever, but tons of pressure, as you can see, on the night side, which is always changing. In this model, we're moving from the right to the left, orbiting the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. You would think you'd see a bow shock. You're also having the planet come right at you being pulled by the sun at 540 4,000 miles an hour, but the bow shock is on the back here, and there really is no bow shock. This is no Edmund effect because there's no space weather. Look at this. Same area as always. God bless you and yours. Instead of solar winds, we have space winds hitting us. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world.